Hey label. Hey YouTube, welcome back to day 10 of our 30 day spooky challenge where we aim to create a spooky island in time for Halloween. The rules are simple, we need to start and finish a new island in 30 IRL days. Time travel is okay and there is no DLC or Nintendo Switch Online allowed. As always, have an absolutely awesome day, thank you for watching and I hope you enjoy. Okay, day 10, we are a third of the way through the challenge and I don't know how well it's going, but we're, we're doing our best here. So there's lots to do. I think first we should definitely check out a mystery island just because I'm super excited. And who knows what we're going to find there. So we need as many recipes and items as possible. So checking out a new island, it seems the logical thing to do. Now, what have we here? Yours be a face I have not seen before. Name's Cap'n. What's yours? Maury, is it? Yeah, that'd be a nice fancy name, that. Well, I came here to ferry folks on tours to various wee islands in exchange for miles. I can take it almost any time. Let me know when you're ready to sail. Actually, we should probably check Blathers first to make sure that he doesn't want to invite Brewster. Because we wouldn't want to use our new miles trip and then realize we could have invited Brewster. Oh, Label, hey! Oh, I think we did the right thing. Blathers is awake during the day and he's thinking. Hmm. Ooh, oh, dear. I didn't see you there, Maury. Pardon me. I'm afraid I was quite lost in thought just now. You see, there is a matter of which... Oh, actually, your time is impeccable as ever. Perhaps you could help me. See, I was thinking of ways to draw more folks to our museum when I hit upon the idea of adding a cafe. So I tried to contact Brewster, an old friend of mine who happens to be an experienced cafe manager. Unfortunately, it seems he's closed up shop and nobody appears to know where he's gone. However, in my search, I also caught wind of a newly unearthed group of gyroids. Brewster goes positively cuckoo over gyroids, you see in much the same way as I do around fossils. This is a photograph of Brewster. I love the way Blaz has just randomly got a photograph of Brewster in his pocket. That is true friendship. If it helps, the gyroids I mentioned earlier were all found on the islands near where Cap'n leads his tours. Good luck, Maury. Okay, so we got Brewster's photo, which is kind of funny. So I'm glad we didn't go on a boat tour without checking first. Hey, Label. Okay, Cap'n, I think we're ready. Hmm, you ready to take a tour? Round fair trip will cost you 1,000 miles. It's so expensive. <laughs> I am ready to go. Time to set sail. Watch your step as you hop on board. Yeah, we have arrived. This be your first boat tour, huh? The things you gotta be mindful of for me tours be the same as them for fancy airplane tours. I'll spare your long-winded explanation. Okay, so I'm guessing Brewster is here somewhere. But look, we found a mystery bottle! I don't know why I keep calling them mystery bottles. I mean message bottles. Stacked fish containers. I'm not sure if those are spooky or not. Brewster! Brewster, where are you? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Cool. You're out here looking for gyroids too? That's right. Yes, we are, because we are actually huge gyroid fans. I hope you find a gyroid. Oh, thank you. Okay, then bye. No, only joking. <laughs> cool, you need something. Uh, you know, a Brewster. Do I know a who? Cool. You're looking at him. Mind if I ask what you're after? Uh, Blather sent me. I see. Mm, I hear you. Tell him that from me. Oh, and also, this is yours if you want it. A gyroid fragment. Thank you, Brewster. Can't wait to get some gyroids around town. Well then, be seeing you. Oh, um, is that it? Literally? Give Blavers my best. Oh, I guess that's it. I kind of want Brewster's t-shirt. Did you see the little gyroid logo? How cool is that? Okay, I guess we need to make use of this island and get all the resources. But I think I want to dig up the bushes as well. We need as many bushes as we can around our island. It will be good for filling in gaps between builds. So we're just gonna take these bushes. Bruce is like, I thought he was here for gyroids, not bushes. <laughs> Actually, we're here for everything. And also, I've just realized there's roses everywhere. So we're gonna take all the roses as well. Maybe we can start growing some hybrids. So we'll collect the rocks, pick some weeds, dig up our first gyroid fragment or our first 
dry red fragment that we found anyway. <laughs> and shake some trees. Okay, and that pretty much clears the island of everything we can carry. We've got a bunch of bushes which are going to be super useful in decorating when the time comes. Got a few resources that are a bit harder to get and some gyro fragments. And we're starting our rose collection. I think we're going to set up some areas to try and grow some hybrids. I think we need lots of orange and black flowers. So yeah, we should probably tell Blathers we found him. Okay, we made it home. I always wonder what would happen if you left the Mystery Island but didn't speak to Brewster. Would he be there when you go back next time? Okay, before we do anything else, we should probably let Blathers know that we found Brewster. Oh, now he's sleeping. Yeah, we found him. Who and allowed me to add Hoot. Why, that is simply wonderful news. Do tell, what did he have to say? He said... I hear you, or <laughs> something along those lines. Oh, that's simply marvellous news. What a relief. That Brewster is a punctual and precise fellow, so I expect he'll make his way forthwith. To that end, I'm afraid I need to close the museum to all visitors tomorrow for construction. It is my sincere hope that you will join us for a cup of joe on that date. Well, thank you, Blathers. I look forward to it. Okay, we need to plant the roses somewhere that's going to, where they're going to be able to grow, but not get too wild. <laughs> I'm thinking here is is good enough there's there's a bit of open space here so we can just plant them here there we go we'll plant them here we'll just give them a watering as well and hopefully that should help grow some hybrids i'll have to research which ones uh kind of perform best which are the best layouts and everything but this should give us a good head start we should also plant our gyroid fragments as well we'll keep them relatively close to capping um, just so we don't forget where we put them give those a water as well perfect grab our money tree Desperately need some money. Looks like we forgot to plant 10,000 bells or we didn't have any at the time. Okay, we're just gonna put some of our bushes here until we need them. There we go. Not quite sure why I accidentally made a bit of a pathway, but that's fine. Now let's take a quick look at the permits because these are the next things we kind of need to unlock to move forward with the island. Okay, so they should be in here, all the different permits that we need. Here we go, so here's the waterscaping permit, cliff construction permit, arch tile, brick path, dark dirt, sand path, stone path, terracotta, and wooden path. Oh, and the custom design path as well. All of these cost their own nook miles, so we need like, we need like 20 plus thousand nook miles, so we're halfway there. Um, and there's, so, there's still so many things we want to get. I'm thinking we should just go with the classic stone path for now. 20,000 miles. We can buy the rest later. We just don't want to waste them just yet. Okay, we went for the stone path and the dark dirt path. Just because the stone path will be great for making actual paths until we make a custom one. And then the dark one will be good for like vegetable patches. Okay, so I think we need to harvest our pumpkins and then just do something. We need to use our path tool to make these look a little bit more interesting. Okay, that's all the pumpkins picked at least. And now we need to dig them all up. Put some paths down and then plant them again. Okay, we can only carry like half the pumpkin patch at any one time. So we dug up these plants. We're going to fill these in to lay the paths and then we'll have to do the other side. And then repeat it pretty much for the uh, white pumpkin patch as well. Oh, it's pretty exciting using the Island Designer app for the first time. Should I start up the Island Designer app and do some construction work? Yes, please. Okay, so we have grass, dirt path, stone path, and the dark dirt path. So these are the two that we purchased with Nook Miles. And it looks like we have the dirt path by default. So we'll go ahead with the dark dirt path first. And we're just going to do some lines um, that we can plant our pumpkins on. It just makes it look a little bit more interesting. And we'll do the classic um, alternating the dirt path colors. And then we can switch to the light one. It already looks so much cooler. We haven't even put the pumpkins back in yet. Okay, now we should just be able to plant some pumpkins. Okay, that looks really cool. So we just need to do the other half as well. There we go. So that is the first side of the pumpkin patch done. I think that looks absolutely awesome. We need to decorate around the edge, the fences, maybe some trees and bushes, but I think this looks great. It just makes it look so much more realistic than that side. Who would have thought? So let's go ahead and do this side now as well. Just repeat the process for the white pumpkins. Almost there. 
No, I shovel broke halfway through. Uh, buying a new shovel and I just saw the spider umbrella. We must have it. There we go. We've got a cool spider umbrella for next time it rains. Anyway, back to work. Okay, that is the island designing done for this area. We just need to put the pumpkins back in the patches. And we've done! Check out how these pumpkin patches look now. They look so cool. It just gives it a bit more depth and a bit more uh, kind of a realistic look, I think. It just looks really cool. Rio been watching us this entire time and not offering to help. Hi, how's my bestie little chick? Clear skies are amazing. They really make you think about how huge our galaxy is, you know. Like sunlight travels 92 million miles to make us warm and happy during the day. And at night, some of the starlights we see have traveled billions of years to get here to our island. I want to make a joke about being a star, but I'm too busy being amazed by nature. Literally, that's what I think all the time. <laughs> okay, next up, we're going to make a bit of a... We're just going to develop our pumpkin patch a little bit, because it's quite a simple little thing. I don't even know if you can class it as a build. Um, but we're just going to add a bit more to it by putting some trees around the edges, I think. So we need to eat some fruit. And now we can just move some trees around, make it a little bit more... Um, actually, do you know what? I like this tree here. I'm going to put this one back. <laughs> we'll steal some trees from over here. Oh, it looks too open now. <laughs> okay, let's plan this out a little bit. I don't think we can plant a tree next to the resident services, can we? Oh, we can. Okay, that changes things a little. Um, okay, let's get rid of this and just pop some trees in here, I think. I had no idea you could plant them up against the plaza. That's really cool. How did I never know that? I can't get through. There we go. We're just going to continue planting the trees along the back there. I hear a balloon. We got a low screen in the balloon there. And uh, that may come in handy. Right, we need some more trees. Uh-oh, we're getting a bit crowded down here. <laughs> okay, we've got some more, more trees, but I'm actually, I'm thinking about we should add a silo or something to this. A bit like how we did the well, but add kind of the silo there. So we're going to go and buy the silo item. Whoa, 3,000 nook miles, but I think it will be worth it. Sweet! I learned a DOA recipe for the silo. Okay, let's check what we need to build the silo. Okay, we just need a bunch of normal materials. Oh, cool. Oh, that's the stacked fish containers. I thought that was a different kind of silo for a second there. Okay, grab the resources out of our storage and we should be able to craft the silo now. I'm just going to grab the customization kits and see what other versions of the silo we can have. Oh, black and white. That's perfect. That is so cool. I've never really looked at these before. That is brilliant. That means we need to customize the well as well. Anyone else notice I've been saying well a lot <laughs> recently? Okay, we can have a white version of the well. I think that's going to look great with all the monochrome spooky items when we eventually customize all of them. That's so cool. Okay, I was thinking in an attempt to stop being making everything so symmetrical, we'll put the silo down here. That is so cool. It just it just adds to it. We'll put some more trees around it in a second. But I feel like that just kind of opens it up a little bit. That's really cool. And then we can put the well back here as well. <laughs> there we go. I think we should plant some trees around the back of the silo too. To kind of bury the silo in, in amongst the trees as well. I've got to stop saying well. What is this? Okay, this side especially looks really cool. I think we should leave this kind of area a little bit open so we can get to the well here. And we maybe we can have a path coming through here at some point. That's really cool. And I'm thinking we should just fill the areas between the trees with some bushes. Seems we've got them. If we don't like that or we need them elsewhere, we can always move them. Chow, you are groovy. I can't work out if Chow is creepy or just cool. <laughs> there we go. So we'll just plant some bushes in between. Alternate colors because why not and plant the last bush just on the edge here I haven't done the sides because we can't really see it anyway, but maybe we could fill those in later But this just looks really cool. We've created kind of an area there. Maybe we should take these away as well Yes, that looks so good 
And then we've got the white uh, pumpkin patch here. Nothing too much going on there, but this side looks great. Do you think we should bring the well inside the pumpkin patch? Or sh is that okay there, do you think? I don't know, but yeah, okay. That looks quite cool. I'm pretty proud. Ciao. I just want to compliment you on your working out. <laughs> Morning, best time for a walk, right? Let's talk. Now, did I turn off the stove before I left home? That's assuming I have a stove at home, mind you. Pretty sure I got a home at least. Oh, Chow's getting forgetful. Okay. And I think we should end by talking to Label. Why, hello, I'm Label, the fashion designer. I'm not sure if you've heard of me. I mean, I'm only recently decided to become an independent designer, so you might say I'm still in training. But that's why I'm traveling to lots of different places. I want to see and learn about as many stars as I can. I'll give you some formal clothing so you have an idea of what I'm looking for. Chow and Rio are in deep conversation. <laughs> there you go. It's a rose print jacket. All you have to do is keep this piece in mind as you put together a formal outfit. I'll be waiting right here, so come back anytime. Okay, so I guess we need to find some formal clothing. This is actually a pretty cool jacket. Right, let's go to the Able Sisters because we don't have any clothing, really, other than what we bought yesterday. Oh, Sandy's uh, doing some shopping. Okay, I think we should jump straight into the uh, into the changing room. So I guess we could use the jacket that Label gave us. Are these formal pants? Okay, we can... Uh, just try random things like, what is this? Egg sushi costume. I've never seen that before. What even is that? <laughs> I kind of want some bunny ears, but they're not very formal. And I don't think robo antennas are formal either. Okay, this is about as formal as we get with the options we have available, I think. Okay, let's see what Label thinks of this awesome fashion choice. Okay, Label, don't hate on me too much. We literally have no other options. I see you've changed your clothes. Can I take a look at your outfit you came up with? Sure. Oh, good. Let's see then. Ah, hmm. I see. Your combination of clothing radiates the perfect formal look. There's just so much I can learn from your sense of style. Thank you. I want to give you something to show how much I appreciate your help. Have you heard of Taylor tickets? And please take this too. I made it with my own two paws. Some label sunglasses, you see. I hope you like the look. It's a design from my fashion label. Well, I'm looking forward to seeing you again thank you for being so very helpful okay i think that's probably a good place to wrap it up i feel like we had uh, we achieved a lot in this episode especially just up dating our pumpkin patch a little bit more it just seems a, a bit more farmy now um and a bit more spooky as well with some of the monochrome um furniture around so we probably should uh change the design of these pumpkins to at some point i think we will do the arches as well now um but yeah let me know what you think of this pumpkin patch if you liked it more before or if you like it more now i'd love to know and of course if you have any other suggestions or feedback or spooky ideas you want to see let me know in the comments i try and read them all and I really need some ideas but I hope you're enjoying this series thank you so much for watching thank you of course to the patrons and channel members for supporting this content I really appreciate it so does everyone watching so thank you and I'll see you next time bye